this dark brown solution will slowly turn to a nice forest green with time. Overall, the ration will take about uh, two to three hours. Um, I advise stirring for longer rather than shorter um, to make sure that the metallation proceeds to completion. Um, it's not advisable to have any of the intermediate uh, bisanolite chloride 8 complex present upon workup because it can often result in difficulties in separating uh, the two species at the end of the day. So this mixture here is going to stir for about three hours and when we come back it should be a nice dark forest green. All right so the reaction uh, has been stirring for uh, just over three hours now. Uh, it's this dark green color and there's a noticeable white precipitate that's the lithium chloride byproduct. The next step in the procedure is to uh, dry the reaction mixture under uh, reduced pressure. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, place this uh, little homemade apparatus uh, over the neck of the round bottom flask and then full vacuum. Uh, and transfer the volatile components of the reaction mixture to the uh, trap outside the box. And, and this is just a you know, a red rubber septum with a hole punched in it and a little uh, a little tube holding the hole, the hole open to allow flow of gases. And then it's just a 1420 flow control gas adapter. So just be careful not to open the valve too quickly. Uh, diethyl ether is great. Being so volatile, it just starts bubbling off. The reaction mixture will likely be dry in about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on your uh, vacuum pump and uh, whether you're uh, pumping off any other volatile, volatile components in the, the box. It's uh, important not to expose the reaction mixture at this point to any uh, halogenated solvents because the titanium sanolide will rapidly uh, extract hal abstract halogen atoms from uh, any compound that it comes in contact with. Well, most any compound, any organic halogen, especially. Can we start with titanium three? Just quickly. Uh, so yeah, we started with the titanium trichloride. Oh, okay, okay. We started with the titanium three. Just salt. And we just did salt metathesis to get the titanium to sandline. And now we'll let that dry. All right, so in about an hour, the uh, reaction mixture is dried to give this dark green residue. <clears throat> what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna add uh, somewhere between 30 and 50 milliliters of N-hexane to the reaction vessel uh, and in the process I'm going to stir the residue up, try to dissolve as much of the titanium trisanolide as possible while at the same time precipitating out the lithium chloride byproduct. I'm just freeing the stir bar uh, from the residue in the bottom of the flask. It's, uh, it's kind of sticky in there and we want to have good stirring to break up the solids. What we're doing here is we're, we're going to try to use the hexane to remove any, volat any uh, remaining volatile compounds like THF or TMEDA that are uh, in the residue 
by breaking everything up and then drying the mixture again. And this will help us separate the lithium chloride from the titanium trisanilide uh, in a filtration step later. But right now the key is to try to break up and dissolve the solids as much as possible with n hexane. Titanium trisanilide is very soluble in hexane, pentane. So this process works very well. Um, you get this nice dark green solution with lots of precipitated salt. So again, just get a nice stirring action going. And then we'll dry it. Dry it once more. Just like before. Uh, less than hexane than there was diethyl ether. But given that hexane is less volatile, it'll again it take about a half hour, 45 minutes to take the uh, mixture to complete dryness. Get a nice bubbling going on, and that should be good. So the reaction mixture is dried again. Um, it's considerably, considerably less tacky than it was before. It's now getting closer to a uh, powder. Uh, the light colored solids are the lithium chloride, and then there's a lot of the dark green titanium trisanilide present as well. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna repeat the drying process one more time with N-hexane, just to ensure that any GHF and T media has been completely removed from the reaction mixture, or at least, well, as removed as possible. Can't guarantee that all the GHF and T media will have been evaporated. Again, about 30 to 50 milliliters of hexane to dissolve the titanium trisanilide and precipitate out the lithium chloride. Recommend working as quickly as possible with the material. Um, again, it, it's a very sensitive compound and trace amounts of oxygen, water, halogenated hydrocarbons uh, all will result in the decomposition. So yeah, just make sure it's stirring well and then put it back under vacuum. And again this will take about 30, 30 to 45 minutes. And once, we're, once it's dry, we'll uh, extract with N-pentane, uh, filter um, through a bed of sea light to remove lithium chloride, um, and then the filtrate solution will be placed in the freezer to affect the crystallization of the desired product.